guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another little technical sort of review um, today on something I bought for the band to see whether any of you lot uh, are interested. Um, and this is a, an adapter for my gas bottle. Now, the reasons why I'm going to be doing this adapter, which gives you a gauge in the ga gas bottle, is not to read the, um, the amount of level that's in the gas bottle, because they're not really that good for that. It's more about being able to do a gas uh, leak check every time I pull up on site. Now years ago, when we had a, a, a van, an older van, we used to have one of these gauges and it was quite nice because you could turn the gas on and off and wait five minutes and you'd know whether you got um, any leak within your system. Because at any point during a journey to any campsite, you could easily get a damage on a gas pipe if it's running underneath the van from stones running, hitting up from um, the road. Right, so fitting the bit of the kit that I'm doing there, it doesn't overtake anything like the habitational check, which you get done uh, probably about once a year. Um, but a habitational check only guarantees that your system's okay from the day it leaves the place where you're getting it tested. After that, for the 12 months, anything could go wrong with your gas system. So relying just on that is up to you. I don't think relying on that is good enough when it comes to gas leaks, really. Um, there is other options like spraying around the connection when you connect it up with some like washing up liquid, which works great. It's for seeing whether you've got a leak when you connect it up. But again, that doesn't pick up any damage that you might have had on the road. Now with the ages, I'm not 100% sure how the gas runs. It might run internally. On some older vans, especially caravans, they do run the gas pipes underneath the van. So they can get damaged by stones flicking up from the road. Anyway, so I'll go over the bit of kit that I've got and uh, some others. So the, what I'm going to be fitting is this bit of kit. This is a, um, a an adapter that goes on to your regulator. So that goes into the bottle. Um, and your regulator goes into this end and then you end up with the gauge and the gauge will go up as soon as you turn your gas on it pressurizes now a long time ago they used to have these all built onto the regulators but then they decided to not do these and they do them as adapter probably because of saving costs so this one was made by um gas flow um there's another one out there called helo and some others which i'll talk about so this one, this one purely being gas flow, was about £25. And the reason why I picked this one out to others is it's a straight through, through inlet. If you, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, um, but you can see a hole straight through the middle. There's nothing else in this other than the gauge and the straight through piece of pipe. So there's nothing like um, safety-wise um, shut-off valves. And the reason why I mention that is another one out there, they all say that they have a safety cut-off so that if there's a gas leak, it, uh, a serious gas leak, it automatically shuts the valve off so you don't lose your gas and it makes it safer. Which is great on paper, but there's lots of reviews out there and go on some of the forums, check it out. Valve doesn't always reset fully. So you end up with less pressure on your gas than you would do if you had a straight through pipe. Um, so I didn't go for that, that for that reason. But some people swear by them. Um, I know a lot of people that find them a bit of a problem and they cause problems with the gas appliances within your environment. Anyway, so that's basically that's basically it. What I do now is I get this connected up, and then I'll show you how I use it to do a gas leak. First thing you need to do now is just to basically turn the gas off, which it's off, and disconnect this old um, connection, which we're then going to connect into the new gauge. On these, the regulator's further up, which is up here, and obviously it hasn't got a gauge on it or anything, so these are built-in regulators nowadays, rather than the old ones that used to be able to screw into the bottles and had the gauges on. So this, the first one to do is take this off. Right, so now we've got the old adapter out. All we need to do now is, on this end, you're just going to screw this into the adapter. And then I'll tighten this up using the spanner. Two spanners. Right, so that's now the gauge attached to the gas pipe of the, of the van. And then it's just a matter of screwing it, the other one, in, back into the bottle. Right, so that's it fitted now. Hopefully you can see the gauge. And you can see that the gauge has got a red mark on it at the moment because the gas ain't on. So all you need to do now is, first thing you could do is spray the connections up to make sure there's no actual leaks when it's all connected. Um, with some washing up liquid, just for a final check. Um, but just to be able to test for leaks, what I normally do is I'll turn the gas off, make sure all your appliances in the van are off, all your cookers, heaters and everything are switched off, so there's no gas running. And then you can just turn your bottle on, and you can see the gauge just went green. Hopefully you can pick this up, because the camera's in the dark area. But the gauge just went green, then turn the bottle back off, 
and then you should leave this for about five minutes while you set up the rest of the van on site and this should, shouldn't really drop from the green you shouldn't really see any red coming um, and if there is any red then there's a chance are you have a leak somewhere or something's still switched on but we see if this will hold up now for five minutes so I'll just turn the video off and I'll come back on in five minutes right so that's been about five minutes now and it's still showing green in my gauge so it's working quite well we haven't had any leaks at all um, one of the other beauties of these when you remember I connected it up it had the red null nut which means you can actually put these on without using a spanner it makes it a lot easier to put them on and off um, than using the, the normal gas spanner and it also had the rubber black grommet on the front of it which makes them usually better for making a, a, a better seal than the original brass metal to metal seals which I've had a lot of bottles sent back in the past years that have leaked so all you can do now is if it's still stayed held up like that and it's green um, to me that means we haven't got any leak so you can just turn the bottle back on now and get on with your normal camping Right, so that's it guys for that it's a short little video thought i'd just show you it that's my little review on using that gauge we have had it for a while because i've just took it off and put it back on again and it works fine we've not had any problems with the gas flow within the van um, and like i say it's, i think it's a little bit better than the other ones but some people might disagree um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it and if you think there's any problems with the video or there's anything you want to add comment wise just comment below because um, it always helps everyone out um, if people comment it helps everyone out within the forums and people watching it so I'll see you next time when we either be away, hopefully, if we get away to Holland in October, or we'll be staying in this country or doing something else. It all depends on what the COVID and all the lockdowns going on.